It's every parent's worst nightmare losing their babies and for me that's my reality every day. That's what I have to um, prepare for the worst because um, everything he's going through and with his medical condition, the suicide attempts are very real and people don't understand that. Um, on top of that, being an Aboriginal boy with a disability, people don't understand that's a double-edged sword. You're discriminated against, um, you're ra you know, it's racism and then also discriminated against um, because of a disability. So it's, it's extremely hard, but it's also strengthening. It's brought a whole family together, strengthened us. It's brought a whole community together. It's brought, you know, the whole short statured people of the world um, together in helping raise and make sure that he's safe. So our first priority um, is obviously his health and well-being, and we're trying to keep him as protected as possible. Um, with going public, there are you no know, pros and cons, so his safety and, and health and well-being is always our first priority. There are way too many people suffering in silence, and my heart goes out to those families that have already lost their children to bullying. It's been way too many, and it's something that needs to be addressed. It's an international crisis, and it demands urgent attention.